expert in tongues or languages is a linguist. Let's have a look at our scores and Cole is on 30, Colin 46. We're on to our last games on this first night of the week. Those final letters from you, Colin, please. Lily, could I please start with a vowel? Thank you. I. And another? You. And one more? E. And a consonant? P. And another one? D. And another? N. And another place. T. And a vowel. A. And finish with a consonant, please. And last letter, S. Thinking time. How'd you go that time? Seven. Seven sounds good, Cole. Seven as well. Let's oh, back to equality now. Great to see. Had, what was yours, Cole? Uh, painted. Painted and uh, Colin? Pundits. Pundits. They're both <laughs> nice, David. Good play. Lovely sevens. Uh, no troubles there. And we like equality, don't we? <laughs> yeah, we do. Equal scores is very exciting. <laughs> there is a full Monty here, Richard. A full Monty to start the week. Excellent work. What did you find? Well, I was hoping that last letter may have been an N for unpainted, but in the end, the S gave us supinated. Uh, and to supinate is to lay on the, in the supine position. Ah, oh, very nice. Well, well found, David. A full money to start the week. The Cole and Colin back to seven each. Last numbers for the night now. And uh, Cole, you went with the classroom mix last time, this time? I think I might go for the same one. Thank you. One, one large and five small. Thanks, Cole. One large, five small. And the last numbers tonight. One, three, three, six, one. And the large is 100. The target to reach is 238. Can we get there? Close this time, no. No, no luck. No. Okay, Colin. Yes, I got there. You got there, right on target. Two thirty-eight. Excellent work. I can see why you organised the maths competitions. <laughs> um, tell us what you did. Uh, six times three is eighteen. Six times three is eighteen. Add one. Nineteen. And a hundred to make one hundred and nineteen. Plus one hundred is one one nine. Uh, three minus one is two. 3 minus 1 is 2. Multiply and you get 238. 238. Well done. That is a very nice approach indeed. Yeah, what a great solution. Lily, uh, did you do it that way or something slightly different? Yeah, exactly the same approach. Exactly the same. That was a, a great approach from Colin. Scored him 10 points. So, Cole is now on 37. Colin has cracked through the 60 barrier to 63. A challenge now to end all challenges. Well, to end the challenges for tonight. Anyway, it's our conundrum. So let's reveal tonight's conundrum. Your time starts now. from the buzzers tonight. So let's have a look at the conundrum solution. And it is absconded. 
So, with the scores unchanged, our winner tonight on 63 is Colin. But Cole, well played. There were some very uh, exciting equal scores and it was a fantastic start to the night. So it's been great to have you on the show. Thank you. And of course, we have a Macquarie Dictionary for you. Thank you very much. And Colin, actually, I saw you doing a little bit of frantic writing just at the last seconds with that conundrum. Were you, were you almost there? Um, truth be told, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> You're such an honest chap. And that's one of the reasons we'd like to have you back in the champion's chair tomorrow night. Thank you. Well, the week has begun, David, but we'd better do it again tomorrow. <laughs> See you then. <laughs> See you tomorrow, Lily. Good night, Richard. And that is it. Thanks to you for watching and, of course, playing along with us this evening. We will see you tomorrow at 6 o'clock when we will do it all again.